My name is Jared Cohn. I'm here today to give a lecture at the World Affairs Council on what we call 21st century statecraft. Uh, now, when we think of 21st century statecraft, it's based on this assumption that statecraft or foreign policy in the 21st century is as much about building connections as it is doing negotiations. And never has this been more important an observation than today. Um, in the last 10 years, uh, internet growth has risen from 361 million to 2 billion users around the world. Cell phone growth has risen from 907 million users to roughly 5 billion. Um, I've served uh, in the last two administrations, first as a member of the policy planning staff to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and then or, or to Condoleezza Rice, and then to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, really looking at how we leverage and harness the potential uh, for connection technology, cell phones and the internet to really be a viable tool of foreign policy. And the way that we have typically thought about technologies is as a tool to you know, communicate or message or convey information. But the reality is that in the 21st century, technology is a powerful tool to connect people to information, to each other, to actual resources, be they financial, judicial, health, um, educational. Um, and if you really look at just the growth of technology and the exponential rise in access to technology. It's really shaking things up around the world in ways that foreign policy has to adapt to address new challenges, as well as take into account an entirely new set of stakeholders that can be engaged, empowered, leveraged, um, or countered, depending on, on who or what they look like. You know, and in government, you know, one of the things that I was often confronted with, and now post-government I'm still confronted with, is this notion that, you know, while technology is growing, um, we have to remember that the Technology itself is a tool and it's neutral, it doesn't choose sides and that, you know, people are the ones who choose sides. And, you know, what we're faced with as we move forward in the world, as we think about foreign policy is whether we like it or not, these tools are out there. These tools are changing power dynamics around the world. They're empowering citizens at the expense of bureaucratic state authority. You know, the question is whether or not these tools will empower people for good or for ill. Um, that's where 21st century statecraft really comes into play.